we're back. This is the Alexander Juan Antonio Cortez Periscope. I'm mimicking Mike right now. Um, I always like his intro on his podcast. Anyways, so what's going on, people? So somebody, I'm still driving. Someone asked the question. Um, one of the ladies asked the question, what do I look for in women? Uh, or what's like, I, used to, I think she said to me, what's one thing you look for or something you look for? This is a good question. And this is not about actually my, my preferences. But I thought this would be an interesting conversation to have. Uh, there is, and I'll, I'll speak personally first. There, there is no singular feature I look for in women physically when I meet them. I want to see what I want to see a woman as clearly as I can possibly see her. I'm not looking for any one thing. I'm not looking for her to satisfy any one desire of mine. I want to see her as she appears and as she is and, ha and as how she presents herself to be seen. So there are lots and lots and lots of details and nuances that can appreciate that I can appreciate. Maybe I'll notice hair. Maybe I'll notice eyes. Maybe I'll notice jewelry. Maybe I'll notice her hands. Maybe I'll notice her boots. Maybe I'll notice the way she's dressed. Maybe I'll notice her, notice her makeup. Maybe I'll notice tiny little details that she has a very lovely neck. There's infinite, infinite details that can be appreciated on female presentation, female form. And women like when men notice them that way, which is the, the meta point that I'm getting at with this. If you're a guy and you're trying to look for one thing on the woman that you meet, you are never going to see them clearly. You're going to see them for what you would like them to be or what you want from them. Women enjoy men who notice details because it tells them very immediately that the man is perceptive. And a perceptive man is a man that's probably going to be more attenuated and observant as to what she wants. A man that's not perceptive, a man that only sees what he wants or what he only wishes he could have, he's not going to notice her in the right way. This is why when I talk about the metaphysics of seeing women versus being blind to them, this is what I'm referring to. If you're attenuated to a woman and if you see a woman clearly, she tells you everything. If you're the kind of guy where, uh, I'll be generic, uh, you're just looking for girls with big tits, because hey, who doesn't love tits? We all love tits, great. If that's all you're looking for, there's a lot of things you're going to miss. <laughs> there's lots and lots and lots of things you're going to miss. Uh, if you're a guy that doesn't notice that she put work into how she presents herself, again, you're a man that's blind. You are metaphorically blind. That's what it means to be blind in that way. And that's, and that's the story that's old as the Bible itself. It's the story that's old as time. Men are blind to women because they can't see them? No, because they don't. Men don't perceive what is presented to them. They are looking for what they want. So what do I look for? I don't really look for anything. I look for whatever she is presenting to me. Now, and for you gentlemen that want to try to understand women better, stop looking at them as to for what you want from them or for what you project on them and see them as they actually are. A lot of you guys, with a lot of you, a lot of you guys, especially the ones that are very insecure around women, you're projecting all the time. You're projecting and your projections make you blind to sing. And you have to cease the projecting, which a lot of your projections come from just over analysis or from over, or from your own insecurities or both. Yeah. What those two, those two things go together. Those two things definitely go together. A lot of guys too have a tendency to very much overanalyze human behavior. Uh, it's not, not that complicated, not that complicated. Women act how they feel and how they mean. That's how they act. Now, whether they say that outright is a different thing, and I've said this before too. Men are explicit, women are implicit. So what a woman implies matters more than the particularities of what she absolutely says. Female reality is always shaped by feeling. I'm supposed to take this, you know, by extension, if you're a man and you're looking to set yourself apart from other men, compliment a woman. Compliment her on things that she probably doesn't get complimented on too often. I could run through the gauntlet. I, I've, I've, I think I've complimented a woman on every single possible detail you could imagine. 
Um, women love it when you notice little details. They love it. You know, there's a big difference between a guy that says, "Oh, wow, you look you look good, you look hot," and versus a guy that says, "Wow, you look stunning. I love how that dress fits you." There's a difference there. That's just an example, but there's a difference there. One is generic, the other one is custom. Are there any questions, thoughts about this? Hopefully I made the point. Artists know that, of course artists know that. Every woman is an artist of her own making. Every woman is an artist of her own creation that way. So, what, what details are there in arts? There's, there's tons of details. There's tons of details. The thing I've always found funny is when guys think it's gay to compliment women on, I guess, their appearances that way. Yeah, I, I've, heard that, I've heard that before from guys. You know, uh, uh, you know, let's say you can compliment a girl on her, on her shoes. I, lo I love those boots. You know, or the color of her dress or the pattern. No, that's, that's kind of gay. Why? Why? I've always, I've always had this very funny. There's a certain subset of men that are just completely fucking blind, and, and they associate they, they associate noticing details being perceptive with I don't know somehow being homosexual. I've, I've never quite the, I've never grasped the connection between those two things. If you if you notice women and you're very perceptive of women, that means you're gay. That yeah, it, it's like it's a I've I've heard grown men say that, and it just I always just taken aback by it. I'm like, that makes no coherent sense. So the men that are most perceptive to women and that see women clearly, those are the ones that are homosexuals because, you know, like, riddle me fucking that. <laughs> when you say, when you, you look beautiful, well, there, there's such a thing as a generic compliment. There's such a thing as a generic compliment. W women don't like generic compliments. Oh, you look pretty. Yeah, that's why guys, that, you know, young men, when guys are young, you're a teenager maybe, and you use that as almost like an opener conversation. Wow, you're really pretty. That, that's a terrible thing to open with. There's nothing special about that. There's nothing, it, it, it's, it, is, it, 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 it lets her know that you are absolutely regular. women not like when you call them cute. Well, here, well here's the other factor, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm loath to use these terms at times, but I'm going to use them. Uh, when you're an alpha guy, you can say whatever the fuck you want to women. And they'll love it. So, a big big factor in is who is the compliment coming from? You know, and that's, part, that's part of the reality. That's part of the reality. You know, depending upon if a woman wants you to have an opinion of her, you can get away with saying a lot of things to her. If, if you're the type of, if a, when a woman looks at you and assesses you, and immediately knows that you are not the kind of guy she would ever want talking to her, uh, there's nothing you can say to her that's going to really be charming. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but you're, you're working an uphill battle there. Why are some men so intimidated by beautiful drunk women? Men are intimidated by beautiful women for the same reason that women are intimidated by really, really, really attractive men. Because there's an insecurity factor that I am not on that person's level. Uh, what do I say to them? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not enough for them. Fundamentally. walk up to somebody you see. Uh, I, I don't count at all. I've never counted that. I don't think in those terms. Yet yeah, women don't give the average guy a shot. Well, the average guy ruins the shot before he even begins because he's already lacking confidence. Should you ever be with a man who is intimidated by you? Should a woman ever be with a man who's intimidated by her? I don't know that a woman... How should I say this? I don't know that I've ever known a woman who is with a man who has that dynamic with her. I really love my boyfriend because I intimidate him 
and he's scared of me. Uh, I've, I've, not, I've not really seen that happen. You know, if a woman is strong and beautiful that way, I, I would find it very unlikely she's going to be with a, be with a guy that is that beneath her. I'm not, I'm not saying that has never happened, but I, just, I find that unlikely. Making the long hair and chest hair. Th thanks. <laughs> what do you think about hypertrophy? Um, what, what do you mean? What do I think? So men want a perfect body over a pretty face. No, I, I don't think you could say that. That. It just as there's all kinds of women in the world, there's all kinds of men. Men are attracted to different things. Uh, do, do men prefer a body over a face or a face over a body? Uh, I, I don't know that you can paint men in such broad strokes that way. That they're, well, men want this over that. Men have different preferences just like women do. Do you believe that one pick up, picks up on man's energy? I don't think that's a question of belief, honestly. I think that's a basic fact. Uh, now, does that mean a woman is skilled at picking up on energy? No, but do women pick up on energy just, um, you know, in general? Yeah, that's a reliable heuristic. I think the thing to remember, also keep in mind, gentlemen, is that, you know, like, yes, approaching women, like, men can be insecure, but, you know, women are equally insecure as well with being approached or not being approached. You know, that, that's one of the fallacies, I think, uh, from the perspective of, you know, does, do, do women choose or men choose? Uh, if, if you're a low-level guy, the woman chooses. If you're a high-level guy, the man chooses. Yeah, fundamentally, I don't think women really choose at all. It's, it's the men choosing them. It's mutual. It, it can be said to be mutual, but I mean, if I had to frame it, frame the dynamic as you know, does one dominate over the other? If a woman doesn't get any attention, she has no one to choose. She just, that's how that goes. Hey, what's up, Lee? How you doing, sir? Man has the power. No, it's, it's a question of who has whose frame is predominating. Yeah, if, if you're the type of guy that's saying, oh, "I can't believe she chose me, and I'm the luckiest guy in the world," man, she's so many levels above me. Uh, I, I guess she did choose you. Yeah, if, if you're the man where you're saying, "I met my girlfriend, I met my wife, and she really amazed me, and she was an exceptional woman, and I'm grateful that I met her." I would say probably that he, you know, he was the one that chose that. Yeah, the, the, the issue with this too is that people hate to think in these terms at times. Oh, you chose, they chose. It, it's not, these are not. We're not. We're not moralizing this. Is that being good or bad? There's always a leading dynamic. Should be a back and forth game. So if men choose, should women ever make the first move? I suppose women can make the first move if they want to. I just, it's never, see, it's never been obvious to me that women like to make the first move or want to make the first move. Uh, in some places, women are more aggressive than others. Uh, you know, let's say Brazilian women, I've always found to be much more aggressive, where like they'll approach you, they'll want you to call them, they'll be much more upfront, they'll be much more explicit with what they want. So many South American women are that way. But at the same time, I think I'll... I don't want to say I think. But at the same time, women prefer that the men lead the interaction. So, yeah, can, should women make the first move? I, I don't see why not that they can't make the first move. If you want to. Like, do, do you want to make the first move? By all means, do so. But, I, again, women don't seem to want to do that. And at, at the same time as well... It, it, it's uncommon that men. That, it's uncommon that most men get approached. Yeah, there, 
there is a such thing as girl game. Like, there is a such thing. Uh, I don't know if you'd call it women, women making the first move. If, if I, I've, I've had... To, 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 to infinity times to count, I've had women open conversation with me. In passing, I could tell they were attracted to me. Were they making the first move? Uh, I don't know if I ever dated any of those women, but it was obvious they wanted my attention. They wanted to talk to me. If, if a man is attractive enough and intriguing enough and open enough, you know, ladies will find a way to have a conversation, generally speaking. You know, at least a certain type of woman. So some women would never talk to a man that way ever, and some girls are very shy, and they keep to themselves, and you know, that's how it goes. Okay, there's different, again, there's different kinds of, you know, like I said, there's different kinds of men, there's different kinds of women. There's a broad range of personality types. A woman that's very introverted and not social, you know, she may, she's probably not going to do that. She's not going to be, she's not going to make the first move that way. Um, so that comes down to your personality. I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking this out as like talking out. The invention of online dating, because I think my input's not outdated. My, if, if you, if you live and die in the real world, this always applies. Uh, if you want to fuck thoughts on Tinder, by all means, be my guest. Find your Tinderellas. Bang them out. Meeting people online is, is a false fabrication. It's contrived. I don't know if anyone really enjoys it. And it still comes down to actually interacting with human beings in the real world. If people feel more comfortable doing that, by all means, be my guest. Is a mirage. It is a mirage. People meet people online through apps because it's easy. You get to cycle through a thousand faces at once and then you tap them. You tap right or you tap left or you swipe right or you swipe left. And then you go on dates. They're fucking setups. That's great that it's contrived, it's reality. I choose not to deal with it. If you want to go out and meet people in the real world, you can listen to what I say. If you want to go fuck people online, Go do that with whatever rules there supposedly are. And now I'm annoyed, and now you're blocked. Let's see how it goes. I'm a man of both. No, I, mean, I have nothing against people going online, but you just have to recognize it's never going to be a natural way to meet people. That's why people complain about nonstop all the time. Spiritual women, any ideas? I'm not really sure what the question is to that. What does that mean? Sex has become more transactional, baseless. The car sets off the back of Tinder and Bubble. No, sex becoming transactional started with the pill. As soon as women had the power to abort a pregnancy and they could have sex without consequences that way, that's when sex started becoming transactional. It became a commodity versus an investment. Short-term commodity versus long-term investment. When you remove the consequences, the natural consequences of sex, then you can have as much of it as you want. Now, the downside to that is, you know, for women, when you can have sex as much as you want with, whom, with whomever you want, your value declines because that's how commodities go. The more common and readily available something is, the less it is worth. That's basic economics. That's not opinion. I turned my boyfriend out on going down on a female I have no idea where that came from, but um, good for you. That was very out of nowhere.
So are men worthless? No, that's just stupid. Uh, why, why even ask that? How, how, what, what's the point of that question exactly? transactional, uh, the value of sex and the value of women went down, because that's how that works, and that trend has been continuing for, what's see, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, aughts, 60 years, you know, plus you also have the advent of feminism that, you know, you get the advent of feminism with the factor of female empowerment, which says that women can have sex just like men, and women, men and women are equal that way, which is not how reality really plays out, but hey, A woman's value goes down. It does. It does. Do you feel valuable if you've had sex with a hundred guys? Do you feel like you're more of a woman? Do you feel like that empowered you? When you're feeling low self-esteem, do you go have sex with three different guys in a weekend and then feel great about yourself? Do you? I've never heard a woman really say yes to that. So why not the same for men? Because men and women have different biological reproduction strategies. Because men and women are not equal that way. It doesn't mean they are unequal in regards to their value, but it men and women are not equal that way. Man's by, for a man to survive, evolutionary speaking, he's going to have to reproduce with women. And if he's going to propagate himself, then he's going to have to get somebody pregnant. And obviously men have the capability to repeatedly have sex with multiple women. Once a woman gets pregnant by one guy, she's pregnant off of one guy. And historically speaking, more men than women died by significant margins, something like 12 to 1. It's absurd that the majority of men's male ancestors, the majority of human beings' ancestors were female. The majority of men died throughout history. But your value goes down. It doesn't matter whether my value goes down in your eyes. Would you be with a guy who's only had sex with nobody? Would you be with a guy who's a virgin? Women like men who are desired by many women. Now, maybe women don't like men who have had tons of women but women certainly are attracted to men who are desirable to lots of women. And maybe those are, you know, are those a little bit different? Sure they are. Does a woman want to be with a man who's been with a thousand girls? Eh, maybe not. Does a woman want to be with a man who is wanted by 10,000 women? Yeah, probably. That's a high value man. Misogyny has been branded as a hate crime in the UK. Eh. The, the UK is the UK. The UK is lost. So, the United Kingdom is going to get exactly what's coming to it. You want to die even death by a thousand cuts of political correctness? By all means. taking ladies in bad marriages having interest in a single guy? A woman in a bad marriage who is taking interest in men outside the marriage? I, I guess she is. The, the United Kingdom, the, the, the political scene in the UK is so... It is so off a cliff at this point and so on a death spiral. 
um, and this the enforcement of good thinking and the restrictions against bad thinking and the inability to speak freely uh, and the prosecution of free speech. You know, when I say that the United Kingdom is lost, the consequences of that are going to be horrifying. But that's what the political establishment, that's what the social brain there has committed itself to. So that's what's going to happen. A lot of unhappy women wish I was their husband. I, I would not position yourself as being that guy. I've always found that dishonorable. Yeah, certainly if you're a desirable man, maybe you meet women at times. Oh, I, I wish my husband and my boyfriend was more like you. I, I, I stay away from those situations and conversations. People are with who they are with, and again, they have to bear the consequences thereof, good or bad. Why do we have to talk? I'm not really sure what you're referring to. Another bot account. Any final thoughts, people? Final thoughts, I'm going to shut this down at the 30-minute mark. Bitcoin. <laughs> yes, buy Bitcoin. All right, people. Good time. Am I moving out of the UK? Good for you. I would highly, highly, highly suggest doing that. Highly. All right, good talk, people. Love you all. Talk to you all again.